You know, one of the things that you hardly ever see anymore are the local bait and tackle stores, the, what we'd call the mom and pop shops or whatever. Back when I was young, it seemed like there would be some of these in every little town and especially around all the lakes. You know, and today we've got the big box stores and the chains and, and whatnot, is, and it just seems so impersonal now. But there is one that has survived it all, and it's in Carothersville, Missouri, down here in the southeastern part of the state. And it's called Grizzly Jig. How long have you been in business down here, Lou? Oh, since 1991. Are you going on 25, 25 years yeah. just about? Yeah, don't seem like it. We still treat it like it's a new, new store, but you know it's been a, it's been a long time. How are you holding out with everything going to the box stores and the big chains and I mean, how does somebody like you? Because I consider this a mom and pop type, you know, bait company. Because it's a family-owned bait company. Yeah, well, it is. It's a mom and pop store. Uh, the other, the big stores don't bother us. Uh, this is a crappie store, and we have more crappie paraphernalia than all the big three put together, and that includes uh, Wally World. Yeah. We're crappie fishermen. This is something you don't just find anywhere, the double hook crappie rigs. That's just something there that we have made. This is uh, pretty well the rod room. Uh, Oh, I don't know how many different manufacturers we have in here. Uh, I know we're one of B&M's largest uh, uh, purchasers. We ship coast to coast. And uh, right now, we're shipping anywhere from 90 to 200 shipments a day. We purchased somewhere in the vicinity of 30,000 boat seats. Marine hardware, what we call marine hardware, pedestals, posts swivels, aeration systems. You know, it's it's something that how you've, you've maintained it, but this is something that you really didn't start to do as far as having a, an outdoor store or a sporting goods store. It's mainly because you were, uh, it all started right here, didn't it? Right there, that's exactly where it started. You know, you know what started in the garage, a simple little little jig that they, that they have sold tons of, mm -hmm. and then this is what it has become, right. branching from there, since you've got your family involved in here with your boys and and uh, got them involved, and, and really you've just, you're an exception to the norm because you've overcome all the other bigger type stores, like mm -hmm. you said, that have pretty much squashed. Back in our day when we were young, these little stores were everywhere, mm -hmm. you know, especially around right. the lakes right. and, and whatnot. So you're one of the, the, the holdouts that uh, is, is really doing well. You've got a, uh, a nice catalog now. It just gets bigger every year. Yeah, every I think year. it's 196 pages, full color. And, uh, you know, you guys ought to support these little stores and stuff like this. They're not out to, to get rich by no means, but you know what? They supply people with what they need, especially the crappie fishing. And this is the largest crappie store still in the country, correct? In the country. Until somebody proves otherwise. Until somebody, I'm from Missouri, you gotta show me. But just check them out, grizzlyjig.com. Come by and get one of their catalogs. You're in Southeast Missouri. Uh, we'll around. mail it to them. Yep. We'll mail them a catalog. Yeah. Guarantee you. And check out the Grizzly Jigs right here. But Louie, mm -hmm. thank you for letting us come by. Well, looking I appreciate at your store it. again, buddy. Appreciate Let's go fishing it. one of these days. Yeah, I stay ready.